All right, guys. First up on your list, MF Doom, Operation Doomsday, Rhymes Like Dimes. And here we have mm. the uh, 45 box set, which is just amazing. And uh, this is dope because even the um, 45 adapter is in the shape of Doom's mm. mask. But uh, yeah, Rhymes Like Dimes is your cut. And uh, tell us about this. Yeah, I mean, what, what, what can't be said about I mean, I remember, I think I really got put on a Doom around when I was in college. Yeah. And um, I remember, even for me, being a weirdo and having a weird, you know, sense of humor and all that type of stuff, hearing this type of rap yeah. was just so mind-boggling to me. Like, I wasn't even, like, into it at first. Uh -huh. It's crazy. And then it's like, once it gets you, it just gets yeah, you. Yeah. And then just ever since then, just been listening. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this is just one of our favorites. It's just super groovy and just, I, I, yeah, I don't know. It just has such a vibe to it. Yeah, I think... Um, I know I hear Doom fans talking all the time about about like how what album that you should play to introduce him to like a new person. Right. You know what I mean? So I feel like the uh, I want to say uh, I'm trying to think the first like, front to back like my man Sean Meek um, was playing us uh, Danger Doom and then uh, yeah I think I I think I ended up I think that might have been my first Doom album I heard front to back and then I went yeah. back and started bumping everything up. But that, that's but that's the that's like an easy one to do first. That's right. what like everybody says. So. Right. So I went I went Danger Doom first and then I then I did everything. And then since then I just been hooked. And then um when I play this album right here, I gotta play rounds like dimes like if I run through the whole album I play rounds like dimes like yeah thirty times and then yeah. I, and then I keep it then I keep going, you know what I mean? Just yeah, just yeah. yeah, it's interesting you guys picked that, um, because when we had Blockhead on the show he also picked this track. Um but I was curious like, you know, that kind of same kind of sense of humor comes up in your rhyme style it, but you guys it's you're not copying him it's you have your own style but it's definitely like you can see the influence oh, just yeah. in terms of the, the way you guys use vocabulary and things Hell, you yeah. know? i no, think uh weird minds definitely <laughs> you yeah. know they, they, there's something that just kind of brings them together i think there's certain artists that we listen to and we're like must you know they can we curse on it yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you know their head must just be fucked up you know? yeah. right just right like, just yeah. like ours is so yeah i mean this was super inspirational you know to really come across doom's work and be like wow you know you can kind of just do as you please have your own style and, and not conform and, and again that was the reason why it was hard for me to even like fully get adjusted when i first heard him because yeah. i was like it was to me it wasn't like the classic version of making a record it was right. i don't know i can't describe it it was just such a cool like awakening experience yeah. to be like wow yeah. like you really just have endless opportunity to do whatever the hell you right. want and make it right. right. So, I yeah. think this is a really good example. You can do what you want to do, the way you want to do it, right. and if you believe in it, it will come out great. Yeah, right. And I remember uh, the guys at the store would yeah. play this, Yeah. and I was just walking around. I think I was heavy into my, like, my clubby eight thing then, but yeah. I remember hearing this going, trying to figure out when the loop started. Right, right, it, right. I was right. like, okay, wh where is it? Like, it's what? like off kilter. It's yeah, I'm like, like yeah. okay, who is this? Like, yeah. what, what is going on with who? I'm like, yeah. oh. And then they just play the album. I'm yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we had um, we had tickets to go see uh, Doom and Most Def and uh, I want to say, uh, was it Nokia Theater at the time? Yeah, I think I what it was. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was hype. I got, I copped them from, a, I copped them from like a, like a, uh, like a small mom and pop like record mm -hmm. store that had a Ticketmaster. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I copped it, and we were ready to go. Boom, 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 and then uh, joint got canceled. And oh. then, so it was just like we were just like, I was, in, I was in depression for like. That two sounds weeks, like Doom. Yeah. 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 So yeah. We, we never, Striking. we never got a chance to uh, yeah. see him live yet. So. Pizzo's yeah, got an incredible. Doom oh, I got, story. Yeah, I'll tell you off camera. I got an incredible <laughs> Doom story. Got yeah. incredible <laughs> doom. I used to, I used to run MF Doom's website. Yeah. So I have, yeah. Like I have like Pizzle a crazy, incredible but episode. that's that's in another episode. You guys, I'll, I'll put the link right there. But yeah, the Pizzle Chronicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, MF Doom rhymes like dimes. Mm.